Hello everyone, my name is Sepida. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this channel, we're going to focus on cryptocurrencies. However, I may get distracted and get, try to share some recipes with you guys. Um, but I will try to focus and stay focused on cryptocurrencies. So in this video today, we are going to discuss what a Ledger Nano S is. It just came in mail, so I'm very excited to share this with you guys and tell you how it works and how to get started. So we're going to talk about what it is, why everyone in the crypto space should have one, very important to have one, and how it works. So the Ledger Nano S, it was found in 2014 by a group of people in France. They have about 20 coins on their wallet meaning that you can store up to 20 cryptocurrencies and or altcoins on this wallet. So the thing about the Ledger Nano S, this little beauty that you can open up like this. So the the best thing about this little beauty is that it is a it's okay. So so it's a harder wallet, meaning that it is offline. It is not accessible. You cannot access it. You cannot get on there unless it is directly plugged into a device that has internet connection. So with this little device, um, you can receive funds if someone has your receiving address, even if you're offline. But you cannot send coins, so you can't send funds unless you're directly plugged into your device, your computer or laptop, as long as you're connected to the internet. Okay guys, so I'm just going to plug it into a computer, into a laptop. So we got that there, we got my Ledger Nano S, plug that in. Voila, and it says welcome. So on this, there are two buttons, the left one and the right one. To get started, you just want to press them both at the same time. So with Ledger Nano S, side buttons are used. Alrighty. So it gives us the option to configure as a new device. You can say yes or say no. So in this case, we're going to say no just to show you the other options. So this is the part where if you had lost your Ledger Nano S, this is where you would go yes and you would restore your funds through your 24 word recovery phrase. So in this case, we're going to go no again. So configure as a new device, you say yes. So the right button. So please choose a pin code. A pin code. So we go, you want to click both to select, so yes. So in this, you can go up for higher numbers or down for lower numbers. So in this case, I'm just going to use um, nine. So, and the your password, your pin code, it has to be four to eight numbers long. So once you've picked the number, you click both numbers to select. So select, then on to the next one, we go nine, 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 select and so on and select and then here i will just double click again so select so confirm your pin code you select and again you go nine 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 there you go and again two buttons okay write down your recovery phrase so at this point, it's saying to write down your recovery phrase. So you're going to press both buttons and it's going to reveal the recovery phrase in the order that you need to write it down. So just like this, that's why, um, so I put all the numbers, so it's giving it to us in order. You wanna write it down. 
So the first word is spoil. So it says word number one, spoil. So you continue that all the way. So whip. And there we have our 24 word phrase. So once you've written down all the recovery words, you will press down both buttons at the same time. So here we go. Confirm your recovery phrase. So you want to click on both of them again at the same time. So it's going to ask you for two words from your list, but it's going to ask for the number. So here it says number seven. And that's why it's important for you to write down the words in the order because it's going to ask you for a specific number and we're going to look down here at number seven, it's asset. So you want to go, you want to search for that word. Oh, so here you go. We found it. You double click on it. So that's the first word. Now it's saying number 16. We look here, number 16, extend and we find the word. Oh, right there and we double click on it. Now it's just processing. And now there we go. Your device is now ready. Alrighty, so now that it says your device is ready, you want to click both of them at the same time again. And there we go. Now it's time for us to download our wallets. Alrighty guys, now that we are ready to download our wallets on here, you just go to ledger wallet.com and we get started from there so you want to make sure that you come on here on a chrome browser and what you want to do here is go to apps and scroll all the way down go to the ledger manager okay and so from here you can scroll all the way down um, there you go and these are all the ones that you can download okay so here depending on which coins you have so if it's the Bitcoin and altcoins ethereum or for ripple you can download them here I'm only going to download the Bitcoin and altcoins here but later on I am going to download all of them okay so you just want to click on there and you want to scroll down and right here. So I'm going to be downloading the Chrome application for the computer. So install, we go add to Chrome, we go add app. Oops, there it is. We have the Ledger Wallet Bitcoin right here. All right, guys, now that we are ready to download the apps on our Ledger Nano S, we go to apps, click on apps, scroll down all the way to the Ledger Manager. And from here, you want to scroll all the way down to where it says get app. So get the app, click on the install button. So right here. And on here we go add to Chrome. And it says, so you want to say add app. Add app. Then we go back to Chrome and we launch, oops, so we want to go back and launch the app. Launch app. So it's connected, it's updating. And so um, one thing that you want to make sure is that it's updated. Um, so it looks like it is updated. Okay, so now here we just go the Bitcoin, we click on that, and so it's saying allow ledger manager, we say yes. Uh, 
Alrighty, and now we have our Bitcoin there. Alrighty, now that we have downloaded our Ledger, Ledger Wallet Bitcoin, you want to just click on that. And uh, for you, I've already downloaded it, so um, it's quick. But for you guys, if it's your first time, it's going to take a little bit longer for it to upload, okay? So now here, you can send money. So you would just have to copy your Bitcoin address, which... Oh no, this is the recipient Bitcoin address. So you can have someone else's address to send money to them. And here, when you receive, this is very important. So this is the one that you would want to copy and use to receive Bitcoins, okay? Okay, you guys, I realize it's too much to transfer over Bitcoin, so I'm just going to download the Ethereum Ultra Wallet. So I'm going to go get the app. It'll bring me down all the way here. You just go install. It'll just take a few minutes. You go add to Chrome. Add app. Then you want to go back to your Chrome. Okay, so now we just go here, we open our apps, and we go Ledger Manager, and we want to download the Ethereum wallet now. So we go here, Ethereum, and now it's saying, allow Ledger Manager, yes, and the Ethereum should pop up. Now this will just take a few moments, okay? Alrighty, so now we just want to go receive, receive ether. So you just want to copy this. So one, two, A, zero, X, five. I will go to my Coinbase wallet, where we keep a few of them. And now I will send Ethereum. So that's one, two, A and zero, five, X. Perfect. So let's just try sending over $10 of Ethereum. Okay, so it's only going to cost us 76 cents uh, in fees. Okay, so let's try that. So we go continue. So now we can see that we have sent the money to our wallet. And I just got a confirmation email from Coinbase. And that is it. I just want to refresh this here. And there is our money right here transferred in.